hash procedure in LT. So first of all, we need to understand what exactly RACH is. And along with that, there are a lot of points we're going to discuss related to the RACH. First of all, what exactly RACH? So RACH basically stands for your random access channel procedure. Okay. And now the question come that why RACH is required. So already we have seen like whenever we have switch on the UV. Okay. So the, all the synchronization that has been done, PSS, SSS, MAB, save all synchronization and DL direction we have UV has already performed. So this is the first signal that is going to be synchronized in the uplink direction. So now we can justify the word that why RATCH required. So going forward, we are having the other questions also that why RATCH, when RATCH is going to happen, on what which particular occasion, then types of RATCH, and going forward, we will see uh, the other topics related to this about preamble, preamble format, how this preamble is generated, when and where exactly we are going to transmit this RATCH uh, uh, and this preamble. So a lot of questions we will be having and we'll go sequence by sequence. So the first thing that why RATCH required Basically, there are two most important reasons that why exactly RATCH is going to require. So you can see why RATCH is required. So first thing is to achieve the uplink synchronization between the UV and the A node B. This is one of the important thing that the UV must be uh, synchronized in uplink direction. So for that one particular reason and we need to obtain the you need to obtain the resources that you are going to send for the RRC connection request. So basically for masses three, that is RRC connection request. So for this particular purpose to obtain the resources for that, you are we are going to have the RATCH procedure. So these are the two most important reason that why exactly we are going to have the RATCH. Now the question we have already seen means so sorry this was for the why exactly the RATCH is required. Now the next thing that when exactly this RATCH procedure is going to uh, be used or when exactly it's going to occur, when exactly uh, it will come into the picture. So already we are seeing that whenever you, we will make the UV on so for the initial you can say acquisition or initial access purpose we are going to uh, have this RATCH procedure and we are going to perform the RATCH at the time of handover okay so we'll see the different type of RATCH also so for the handover we are going to have the RATCH procedure that is contention free CFRA here initial access it will be contention based we will understand what is contention free and contention based okay so basically if you'll see when the RATCH is going to happen RATCH is going to uh, take place at the time of initial acquisition or initial access at the time of handover we are going to perform this RATCH at the time of radio link failure so we are already having one uh, video uh, related to RLF. I will share that link also. So at the time of radio link failure, where you can see the case of RRC connection 
re-establishment will come into the picture so at that particular time ratch is going to be so to, to recover from that okay so ratch is going to be performed so these are the important areas these are the important aspect where exactly the ratch is going to happen